Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Welcome to episode 2 of the Star Trek Bridge Crew playthrough. So here we go. Captain's Log, Stardate 2258.201. Our science team has discovered a connection between the anomalies we encountered in the Silva system. Each showed the presence of a highly unstable substance known as protomatter. Our continued exploration suggests the entire trench may be contaminated with concentrations of protomatter, but further research will have to wait. We've received a distress signal from an independent vessel and are now in pursuit of the ship to render aid. Okay. I definitely think this ship is based on the Excelsior here. class. Opening channel. Oh. This is Anton Serko, acting captain of the Polaris. We're experiencing multiple system failures. Please keep your distance. We can't guarantee your safety. Moving into the anomaly. The Polaris' current trajectory will take them directly through the asteroid field, Captain. Aye, captain. Their chances of survival are effectively zero. If we can get within range, we may be able to disrupt their engines. I'll contact USS Raleigh and request support. So I've raised the shields. Okay, so we could do with getting a bit closer. Aye, aye. Locking on target. I'm on by the output algorithm. Now, if we go to the helm, we can disrupt their engines, but we don't want to get too close. I'm not sure how close is enough. See, system intrusion, I think we can do that. Oh, tactical scan required. Aye, aye. The Changing target. Got to be careful here, as I've got a feeling if we get too close, we're going to run into trouble. There they are. Oh, look at that, magnify. Cool. Staying with target selected. Can we not do a scan from here? Let's see. Are we scanning? Oh, I'm not sure if we're quite in range. Oh, there we go. Just going very slowly because we're so far away. Entering the anomaly. Oh dear. Might want to stop. Aye, aye. Bring her to full stop. Let's go back to here. Bring analysis to your panel, Captain. Okay, engines. That's what we want to do. Surely a tractor beam will be Target more effective. System is disrupted. Now what? Captain, incoming message from the vessel. Please, you have to help. We're taking supplies to a research station in the Persef system. Something went wrong. Something happened to the star. We got hit by some kind of blast wave or something. And now we can't reach anyone at the station. You have to go back. You have to help them, please. USS Raleigh is arriving. Oh, cool. Looks a bit Incoming like Miranda. from the Raleigh, Captain. On screen. Aegis, this is USS Raleigh. We're on hand to assist the Polaris. Okay. The Raleigh is better equipped to help with repairs, Captain. I advise we check on that station. Agreed. So, going to the Perspep system. So, let's select. Let's go to warp. Aye, aye, Captain. Preparing for warp. Allocating power. Warp course is set. Lining up for warp vector. 74 warp vector light years away. We're warp ready to go. Charged. Charged. Aye, 
engage. That computer voice definitely sounds like the one from Discovery. Wow, that was quick. Locate escape pods. Right, okay. I am not reading any life signs on the station. Oh dear. But I am picking up a few escape pods amongst the debris. Roger that. New target locked. Scan initiate. Captain, sensors indicate the star is experiencing wide-scale coronal disintegration. Scan I am updating your panel, life Captain. If the core erupts, our ship will not be able to withstand the blast wave. So, how do we get these? Oh, hang on. Understood. Dropping shield. Acquiring transporter lock. We've arrived. How long does it take to beam someone? Energizing. <laughs> oh yeah, as soon as I go there. We should deliver the survivors to the Raleigh. Their med bay is significantly larger. I'll contact them and ask them to put their medical staff on alert. I, Captain, I'm detecting tachyon levels consistent with recent use of a cloaking device. We should be on our guard. Aye, aye, Captain. Locking new target. Well, I think target. the shields are up, aren't they? Oh, no, they're not. Shields up. Red alert. Captain, I'm getting a signal of unknown origin here. Federation vessel, uh -oh. leave now or be destroyed. You have 30 seconds to comply. What are the Klingons doing in the trench? Remember, Michael Burnham, we don't fire first. Yes, Captain. Targeting. Cruiser. Yeah, but they've not done anything yet, so... Problem is, if I'm beaming people aboard, I've got to lower the shield. They're firing. Oh. D5 Cruiser. Changing target. Firing! Environmental radiation levels are spiking. The star's core is going to erupt soon. Not good. Another one. I've got a new contact. Dogs. Klingons attacking a rescue ship. I mean, come on. Understood. Prioritizing power to shields. Eek. Shields are at twenty percent. That's not great. Come on. That's not an escape pod. That's a Staying with them. Blocking new target. Opening fire. Updating target. Scanning. Well, there's no fires yet on the bridge, so it can't be that bad. Oh, the shields are down. Oh, that's pretty bad. Got no choice though. One hostile destroyed. Woo! Right. Let's try and rescue these escape pods before more Klingons show up. Okay. Aye, aye, Captain. Targeting. Scanning. I, 
my captain. Full power to shields. Are the shields actually damaged or? Transferring data to your panel, Captain. I count three escape pods we have not yet searched. Sensors are showing waveforms consistent with recent plugging activity. Shield emitters. shield emitters restored. Oh, good. So, how do we beam? We're showing off their sensors. Hostile vessel closing in. Great. One hostile. Staying with target cemented. Whoa. I must have done some damage, surely. Yes, Captain. Locking on target. Initiating scan. I'm gonna have to do the work here. I will update your panel, Captain. Part of the rocket launchers are reacting, Captain. There may be a cloaked vessel operating in the area. Shield strength at fifty percent. Phew. Right. Are we ever going to be able to rescue these people? It's terrible. Hi, Captain. Shields low. Establishing lock. Oh, this is risky. I know we're here. Oh. No. I've got a new contact. Hostile. Yep. Yeah, this is going to hurt. The amount of environmental radiation is spiking at dangerously high levels, Captain. How long? Captain, we've reached our destination. Energizing. Come on, engineering. Usually you see a transporter over there. Hmm. Right, so the shields should be back up. Changing target. Engaging target. Scan initiated. Oh cool, I like how she's got a 3D version of the ship in front of her. That's cool. Great, let's get the next one. Let's be quick. Ooh, damage. Captain, I have noticed a pattern of unusual sensor echoes. They are indicative of the recent use Captain, of Captain, it device. looks like matter from the star is causing temperature spikes in certain areas severe enough to damage the ship. Those pods might not last long out there. I will update your panel, Captain. Two pods remain. Exiting anomaly. Enemy with the detector. Oh, no. New contact. One enemy Follow. vessel. Hi, I. Locking new target. Oops. Okay, I think we got some trouble here. We might be in an anomaly. Come on, transporters! What's taking so long? Exiting the anomaly. Gosh. Moving out of the anomaly. Sensors are showing waveforms consistent with recent cloaking activity. Moving into the anomaly. <sighs> Energizing. Finally! Exiting the anomaly. Adjusting course for new coordinates. Entering the anomaly. What's going on with these shields? We need to get these shields working again. This isn't going well. Repair crews to shield 
Stellar core eruption is imminent. We need to warp out of here, Captain. Right. I know we're here. New Understood. Initializing. Let's get out of here. We've done all we can. Come on. Go. Whew. Serious damage there. Gosh. That was insane. Right, mission complete. Um, we managed to rescue 18 people out of 24. That's not too bad. But that was really hard work with the constantly being under attack and then trying to get the shields up and worrying about the anomaly. Really good though. You, you've got to think about more things in this game than within Bridge Commander. Cool. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in episode three. Bye for now.